Well, today was not the prettiest day. We had clouds all day long. Most of the day was rather quiet. A few of you had showers, but toward the evening, we started getting more noisy weather, some showers and some thunderstorms, and you can see the raindrops that hit the camera. It's raining at the airport right now in 71. Our high today was 78. Our low 69, 1.67 inches of rain out at PTI today. Most of that fell during the morning hours. Some of that has fallen this evening. Low 70s in the cities right now, some 60s away from the cities. This area has been working on us the last few hours. It's beginning to pull away now. It's in the easternmost area. Still some in Alamance County, but it's weaker than it was, and also in Caswell County. There's another area back west of Charlotte. That's moving in a way that it should come across some of our southern counties and will probably give you a little bit of sound of thunder, might wake some people up as you uh, get off to a good sleep in about an hour to hour and a half. You can see this weather though that's out there tonight now is weakening and there's the activity to the west. There's a severe thunderstorm warning for that now that may weaken a little bit before it gets here because the atmosphere has been getting worked over here with flood watches out for the triad points north and also to the east and a little bit to the northwest back into Yakin County and Surrey County and you can see the rain that we've had. There's still spots on the map that have had no rain parts of Yakin and Surrey and Stokes and even a little bit of Forsyth has had none, but most everybody else has had a pretty good soaking rain. You look in the heart of the triad, you can see about 1.8 inches over downtown Greensboro, and then there's a variance of yellows at least an inch, and the oranges are getting up to about an inch and a half. But look at Alamance County near Graham, just south of Graham, showing estimates on the Doppler of 5.3 inches near Hanford Road and uh, just south side of Graham, some pretty heavy rain of at least four inches. Back down to the south, we've had some decent rain around Seagrove as well. And this community uh, areas have had around two to two and a half inches of rain so far. Now, as we widen this out and look at what's going on the rest of the night, again, we'll still see some showers come through from time to time. Things will get more quiet toward daybreak. And as we look at what's going on through the uh, time period as we go into uh, the morning, you can again see things are looking better. And tomorrow afternoon, I think we may even get a peak of the sun for a little while. That front is helping to pull the more strip that we're dealing with now, but then we got to start dealing with what's coming from the Gulf. And of course, that is what's going to become Hurricane Helene forecast to be a max, uh, a major hurricane by tomorrow evening or by Thursday evening. It becomes a hurricane during the day tomorrow, and you can see its journey on the forecast models and you can see Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, and then it becomes a tropical storm Friday morning as it works its way to the north. Uh, the rain from that system will be coming our way by late Thursday night or Friday. You can see it coming up from the south and that heavier rain spins up, especially toward Asheville. Wind gust here, we may see some gusts getting up close to 40 miles per hour and rainfall with the system uh, will total between what we got tonight and through Friday will be about three to four inches, but much more back toward Asheville. Beaches 84 and 82 and pretty good weather the next couple days. They'll see some showers, but it won't be as rough there as it will be in our mountains. Mountains will see some showers and storms the next couple days, but not from the tropical system yet. Our overnight forecast here is for a few showers and possible thunderstorms. Tomorrow again, we have the chance and as we look ahead, you can see that we've got temperatures in the 70s. Higher rain chances Friday, a little bit better on Saturday. 8 to 12 days out and you see the chances of rain go down and temperatures go down too. low 70s. 3 degree guarantee tonight's low 68. My guarantee for today was for 68. It was 69 and our streak at the moment is now 95 days.